Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So, welcome to your readings for September 2018, yeah? Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers, but thank you to all the returning subscribers. Uh, your support is everything to me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, we just recently hit 10,000, and I'm super, super happy. I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you to all you guys. You are freaking amazeballs, yeah? <laughs> so, uh, just a few things. One, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, and the energies are interchangeable, okay? So it could be you that we're talking about. It could be the other person that we're talking about, if we're talking about another person. Um, these aren't necessarily love readings, but love definitely comes out because I am channeling for the Venus sign. Your Venus sign is uh, how you approach love, how your information about that. So if you are looking for information about like, your love life, I would recommend, me personally, I recommend that you always start with your Venus sign. You can find that out um, if you pull you know uh, pull up your birth chart yeah drop your birth chart now about birth charts um, I want to make a little bit of a uh, bit of a suggestion um, this might be a bit of a long intro if people want to leave a timestamp go right ahead um, but I do recommend that you guys listen to the intro at least once especially if you're watching like a bunch of different signs um, just listen to the intro at least once and then like do whatever um, but uh, I recently got into Vedic Astrology, which is uh, also known as Sidereal, I believe. Um, and uh, I did this because my spiritual team, my spiritual guides really pushed it for me to start investigating. And I did so. And I learned that my signs are different. Okay, So I always thought of, uh, I grew up as a Taurus. My sun sign was Taurus. But then when I did the Eastern chart, the Vedic chart, um, sidereal chart, I learned that my son is actually in Aries. And when, <laughs> when I learned about that and, and I really like investigated and I read it and I like felt it out, it, it immediately clicked. Like it felt right. I was like, Oh, Oh man. Because when I started to look back on like how I present myself, how I like how I work in the world and everything like that, um, I am very much an Aries. <laughs> So that makes sense. I still kind of resonate with Taurus, but um, very much in Aries. So then other than that, you know, in, in the Western chart, um, my moon sign was Leo and my rising sign is Venus. I'm sorry, rising sign is Venus. No, my rising sign is Virgo and my Venus is in Aries. But then in the Eastern chart, my moon sign is Cancer, my rising sign is Leo, and then my Venus is in Pisces. And when I looked at all that uh, that stuff too, I was like, oh my God, that makes so much more sense. Because when it came to the Western chart, I was like, how am I so intuitive, but I don't have, I barely have any water in my chart. I think in the Western chart, I think I have like one planet in Scorpio. Um, and it might, I think it might be Neptune or something. I don't know. But then when it came to the Eastern chart, there was all the water I was missing, right? So for me personally, things really clicked and I understood, I came to a better understanding of myself. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is I encourage you to check that out. Um, you can watch my videos or any of the videos, whether you, whether you resonate more with Western or Eastern astrology, it really doesn't matter. It's just um, all about how you feel how this connects with you, how it resonates with you, okay? Um, so I'm, I put uh, some links to some websites to, that are, I find are to be really, really great um, in giving you your chart. Um, actually, there's one, there's one that actually will give you both, but I'll give you two, two different options. Um, they're going to be in this description box below, and uh, I encourage you guys to, you know, insert your um, your birth data, your birth information, and check it out. See what comes out, and if you resonate with something, go for it, and then start to watch the videos from that point of view. Like if now, if you all of a sudden you find that things are different when it comes to the Eastern chart, and you want, and you kind of resonate with it already, and you want to watch videos uh, in line with that, I encourage you to do so. You know, it's really all about what you resonate with, how, what you feel about the situation. Yeah. Okay. With that said, um, I'll, a few more things. One, you can find me in New York City at Om Shanti Bookshop. 
every Monday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Om Shanti is located on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in the East Village of Manhattan. So come check me out if you're in the area. I would love to meet you guys in person. Um, the, uh, the link to the website uh, for Om Shanti Bookshop is in the description box below. So you can go to the website, get their phone number, give them a call. If you want to schedule a reading beforehand, you're more than welcome to do so. Or at the same time, walk-ins are definitely welcome. Um, and it's a great shop, you know, they've got all kinds of really nice stuff. The crystal selection is fantastic. So if you're into crystals, I recommend coming down and checking us out. We have a lot of great stuff there. Um, you can get some crystals wrapped and put into jewelry for you at the shop. Um, if you do want some crystal wrapping, ask for Martha. She's great at that. Um, what else? Oh, I am available for private readings. Uh, my email address is in the description box below, along with a description of all the readings that I offer, all in the description box. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go down into the description box, look at the options, read through them, see which one might, may work well for you, and then throw shoot me an email. If you don't know which reading would be best for you, go ahead and email me, and we'll chat, and I'll help you decide which one you would like, yeah? Okay, so for the readings this month, um, I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, guys. I love it. It's just so pretty. And then I am closing out the readings with Oracle Guidance from my favorite, Oracle of the Unicorns. Yeah, I love unicorns. I personally believe that I am a unicorn, but you know what? That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess that's it. Thank you for sticking in to with the with the long intro with me. If you did, if you didn't, don't worry about it. It's fine. You can't even hear this part of the message anyway. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get to it. Hey, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the month of September 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Gemini for the month of September 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini, let's get into it. It's so funny because I see... I'm seeing the same color that I saw for Libra, I guess, and Aquarius, too. Um, it's a light blue color, but it makes sense because I saw the same colors for the Earth signs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, it's a light blue color. So communication. And Gemini is all about communication. Gemini, you are ruled by Mercury. No, that's Libra. I don't remember who you're ruled by, but... Your, uh oh okay well we've got a flyer here let's see what this is about that's interesting that's never really done that all right seven of wands in reverse um unblocking undefensive like letting down the defenses what's underneath the deck the four of swords okay some of you might be contemplating um taking down some sort of defenses not being so defensive um, maybe if you've blocked somebody, you're thinking about unblocking them. Um, and the Four of Swords, that could, it's definitely you, okay? We're talking, Four of Swords is air, uh, is mental, so that's the air. Uh, you could be, or this could be involving another air sign. Whether it's another Gemini or an Aquarius or Libra. Could involve... A fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, with the Seven of Wands here. This could be after a period of rest and contemplation, you could now emerge and um, your defense, defenses could be dropped. That's what I'm getting here. Or you're actively in a mode of rest in order to understand something differently. I'm hearing see the bigger picture. Hmm. Okay, cool. So let's shuffle up a little bit more and we'll see what else, see what we get here. 
that was just crazy. Like when I'm, I, I shuffle all the time and nothing has flown out like that in that way. Like I've gotten flyers, but it's never really like launched out at me. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Um, so, but that's an intense energy. Like someone is really, someone's really thinking of unblocking someone else. All right. Gemini. All right, give me a second here, guys. Let me just reconnect. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right, cool. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give this two more shuffles, Gemini, and then we'll get into it, yeah? Gemini. 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 If any of, do any of you listen to Basement Jacks? This, I don't remember what album it is. It might be Remedy. It might be Rudy. I don't remember, but there's an <laughs> there's an inter interlude in which they're talk they're saying that they're just talking about I don't know they just say Gemini 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 and so anytime I hear anytime <laughs> anytime I say Gemini or whatever I think of that okay whatever if you listen to Basement Jacks then you know what I'm talking about if not whatever <laughs> all right we've got the world in reverse underneath the deck overall energy this is to start. Um, there is an ending, there is an ending coming to play here. There's a closing of the cycle coming to play. Someone might be resisting closing out a cycle. That's entirely possible, but I'm really the, the, the strongest energy I'm getting with this is that, um, someone is coming to terms with something in order to close out a cycle. All right. Uh, we've got the nine of cups in reverse. Okay, so <laughs> there's turmoil here. Someone might be, I'm really getting an energy of someone is overindulging. Someone is trying to, um, um, drown their sorrows in some cases. In other cases, this is related to the closing out of a cycle in order to, because of some sort of wish fulfillment. Okay. We also have the emperor. Upright could be dealing with an Aries and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. All right, Gemini. Um, I think what's what's causing trouble for you guys when it comes to closing out this cycle is control. Needing to be in control, wanting to be in control. But also, also, I'm getting an energy of needing to, wanting to, or needing to, requiring to have all of the pieces in order before something can be ended, before a cycle can be put to rest. And actually, this is with the emperor here. This is an energy, especially since it's upright. From what I'm feeling is, this is an energy of a good thing. This is an energy of not wanting to, uh, or, or or not. Um, gosh, this is hard to put in words. I mean, I see it clearly, but it's putting it and expressing it is the <laughs> is the challenge. Um, knowing that all of the pieces, all, all everything needs to be in place correctly before this cycle comes to an end. Because if it were not to be put into place correctly, then there is an energy, a possibility of it, uh, the cycle recreating itself, like going back. And we don't want to do that. So the emperor is saying everything needs to be in place first before this cycle can come to an end. All right? And underneath everything, you've got the six of pentacles in reverse. This is another energy of um, that's in the background. It's, it's coming forward. Okay. With all of this, it's, it's like in the works. Once this, uh, uh, this completion of this cycle is going to bring wish fulfillment and a balance of give and take within the relationship. Okay. All right, cool. But again, the emperor is saying all the pieces need to be put in place first so that the cycle can be ended and something can be started on a healthy level, okay? Cool. 
First set of current energies for the first half of the month. You got mm, the Empress. Sorry, I was drinking some coffee. <laughs> the Empress. Okay. Secrets. Uh, I'm th things are happening underneath the surface. The Empress is coupled with, ooh, strength. Could be dealing with a, a Leo. I'm hearing persevere. Um, I'm getting an energy of uh, strength, and this is why I'm hearing perseverance. I'm getting an energy of strength to push, to push through in the face of secrecy. Okay. The Empress knows exactly what's happening. Um, it's underneath, but she knows that it's also happening underneath the surface. Like what she's saying to me is the universe is taking care of this. I just need you to persevere, to have the strength to, 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 to carry on. Okay. Yeah. Second set of current energies for the first half of the month, you've got the Fool in reverse. The, okay, so these reversals, what I'm getting with this reading for you, Gemini, is the, the, the reversals here are blockages, yes, but it's like it's upcoming energy. Like this is right underneath the surface. It's, it's almost like this is right around the corner. So you have a fresh start that's coming. And this is why this is why the high priestess and the universe are saying, just hold on, persevere. Okay? Things are not necessarily as they seem, and we need you to have the strength to trust and keep going. All right? Because you have a fresh start coming. The, the fool in reverse is coupled with the seven of pentacles in reverse. And the first, the first thing I'm getting with this seven of pentacles in reverse is no longer procrastinating for the most part. That's what I'm getting. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in there, but th there really isn't not procrastinating any, not procrastinating any longer. It's time to start taking action. Um, I'm, and this energy is in escrow, like it's coming. This is what you have going on behind the scenes. Someone has seen the harvest, has harvested, and is ready to, to replant. Is getting ready to even. Okay. Okie dokie, current challenge. For the first half of the month, the Hermit in reverse could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, current challenge in this situation is coming out of this Hermit stage. Hermit in reverse is coupled with ah the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is upright. All right, all right, all right, all right. So there is, okay, so this is the one reversal where I'm picking up a blockage, an active blockage here. Um, and this, so that makes sense that it would be, it would be this one because this is the current challenge of the first half of the month. So someone needs to go within and deal with all of this illusionary stuff. This is also a, a, an energy of um, the challenge being, you know, things being hidden, things not being as they seem. And the challenge is to go within because I feel like there's a tendency to not, like someone is resisting going within and listening to what the higher self, what the inner self, what the heart, what the universe is saying to them. And it's getting caught up in the illusion of the 3D, all the different things that are happening out on the external that don't necessarily reflect what's really happening energetically. So the current challenge is definitely an energy of needing to go within and stop focusing on the illusion that's in front of you. Okay? Because honestly, 
things change energetically first and then they manifest in the physical. Okay? So you have to get through that. <laughs> um, potential outcome for the first half of the month, you got, ooh, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Look. This is another energy. This is the escrow energy. This is like, this is what's coming. Potential outcome. I mean... It's weird. It's a potential outcome, but it's still kind of like blocked. Okay. What I'm seeing here, what I'm feeling is that there is a new start coming, but again, it's in escrow. That's what I keep hearing. It's in escrow. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles is coupled with mm, judgment in reverse. The universe is saying to you reconciliation, a new start, um, a rebirth is in the works, all right? See, judgment comes right before the world. I know this is frustrating, Gemini, or whoever you're connecting with, if you're not a Gemini, if you're a cross watcher. I know this is frustrating. The universe understands. We're like, yeah, we get it. But you still have to continue to let us do the work behind the scenes to work this out for you, okay? Because your wishes are being granted with the Nine of Cups. Again, it's in escrow. It's in the works. The emperor is saying we need you to be patient because we need this to be done right. Not all willy-nilly. We don't want this cycle to restart. We don't want this cycle to happen again. We want to really put an end to this. So you just have to be patient with us. This is what the universe is saying, guys, okay? Second half of the month, upcoming energies. We've got... Ten of Pentacles, upright. There it is. What you've been waiting for. Coupled with, woo, death in reverse. The transformation has happened. So here is an energy of the release of the transformation. Or, conversely, the universe is continuing the, the, the conversation. Once this transformation happens... Once this transformation is completed, you've got the Ten of Pentacles right there. It's still in escrow. <laughs> that is frustrating. I get it. Could be dealing with a Scorpio also. But yeah, I get it. Second set of current uh, of upcoming energies for the second half of the month. You've got the Hanged Man. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Look at all of these major arcana. Guys, do you understand Major Arcana has come out in each section, in the overall energy, in every section? This is big. This is really, really big, Gemini. The Hanged Man is coupled with whoop, the Six of Wands in reverse. Something's going on here in which um, it's something is not necessarily as it seems. You're going to have to see things differently in order to recognize the victory that's in front of you. Okay. And that's really that's really an energy of for you, Gemini, or whoever is you know connecting with you, cross watch or whatever. Um, that's an energy that's literally con um, 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 continuing the conversation. Or the, the narrative that the universe is saying, like, you have to you have to understand that you need to have the strength to persevere because things are happening below the surface. So you're going to have to take a different perspective in order to understand that, to, in order to see the victory that is in front of you. Okay? Uh, upcoming challenge for the second half of the month. <laughs> you've got eight of wands in reverse. No communication. Maybe a lack of movement. The ch upcoming challenge could be for the second half of the month that things are not moving the way you want them to. Things are not moving in, in, as swiftly as you want them to. But the universe is saying, with the Eight of Wands, even though it's reversed, the universe is saying, things are still moving, guys. 
It's just underneath the surface. You can't see it with your physical eyes. Eight of Wands in reverse is coupled with... Whoop! Three of Swords. This is challenging. This is heartbreaking. I'm not getting an energy of cheating or deception or anything. I'm getting an energy of not seeing this movement is heartbreaking, is challenging. This is really testing you, isn't it, Gemini? And I can, I can see energies, uh, uh, Gemini energies as being very fast moving, swift. Of the air signs, I feel like Libra and Gemini might move the fastest. I think if you're going to put it into order, Gemini would be the fastest, Libra would be second, and then Aquarius is like slow and steady wins the race. That's how I'm seeing it right now. So for you, Gemini, in this situation, this lack of movement is just tearing you apart. But it's okay, though, because you got it in escrow. That's literally what the universe just said. You got it in escrow. You just have to believe us. P potential outcome for the second half of the month. You got, hey, the Queen of Wands. And this is an energy for me. The Queen of Wands is upright. And this is an energy of attracting exactly what it is you want. Magically. Magical. Using, the, using your uh, magnet magnetism to get what it is that you're looking for. I'm seeing you being very confident, um, charismatic, sociable. Gemini is social anyway. You also could be dealing with a fire sign. So this could be a fire sign coming into your life. You could have fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You already have Leo here with the with the strength. Uh, the Queen of Wands is coupled with, ooh, ooh, the Page of Cups. Could also be dealing with a Pisces. Um, wow. Wow. So I'm seeing an energy here of a new love potentially coming in. Rekindling a relationship, maybe a marriage, maybe I heard. Starting something new, like a, a new infatuation, maybe. I'm re I'm really hearing rekindling of a relationship. That's the strongest thing that's coming through right now. Okay, that's nice. Dreaming also the dreamer, the page of cups is a dreamer. Daydreaming about someone. You could be daydreaming about manifesting some a relationship that you truly want. Something like that. But this is also a message. A messenger. Because the pages are messengers. The knights can be messengers too, but the pages are really messengers the mo for the most part. Knights are more action-oriented. So there could be some sort of message extended to you, from you, towards someone that embodies a Queen of Wands type energy. Okay? Sweet. All right. It's an escrow. I keep hearing escrow, escrow for you, Gemini. Yeah, for the Cross Watcher too. We keep saying this. It's in escrow. You just have to believe us. And just trust and let it come through. All right, Spirit, let's get into some Oracle Guidance for Gemini, please, in relation to this reading for the month of September. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, one more shuffle. Okay, here we go. Best message, please, for, the, for Gemini for the month of September. I, feel, I really feel like it's this one. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, y'all, you can't make this shit up. Look at this. Patience. Why? Because it's an escrow. Holy moly. 
pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Go on and have a good time. Have fun. Get your mind off of this shit. Just let the universe take care of it because it's in escrow. And that is that. <laughs> I'm not going to go any further. Patience. There it is, guys. Oh, well, actually, there is something that's coming through, I want to say. Um, I just noticed my attention was drawn to this unicorn's horn. And you see how there's that light? It almost looked like it could be a star in the sky, but it also, what I'm seeing is the intention that you're holding is being transmitted out to the universe. So keep your vision because the unicorn's horn is very much related to the third eye. So keep your vision, keep your intention in place. Hold it because it's in escrow. I don't, I don't think, I don't think I can say that enough because the universe is just like drilling it into my head right now. It's in escrow. Okay. Excellent. There it is, Gemini. Much love to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of October. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.